Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Tuesday morning. It's January 16th. It's about 6.59 a.m. It's almost 7. That means I slept in, which means I'm happy. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean I'm happy, but there's usually a correlation uh, between the amount of sleep one gets and I don't know if it's the sleep that creates the happiness or the happy, content, comfort that is in one's body, soul, uh, creates the sleep. And I haven't figured that out. I actually think it's probably the latter. But either way, I've got a good night's sleep and I'm feeling good and uh, it's seven o'clock. So uh, uh, happy Tuesday. Anyway, this is a show I've been doing for a long time. It is a show about me talking, kind of waking up, rubbing the sleep out of my eyes, getting going, and sharing the ups and downs that we can have in life, <laughs> or even in the first few minutes of every morning. But for those that have been watching a while, you know it is not just a show about me talking. Uh, it is a, also a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I'm very excited to announce I got a nice hot cup of coffee, but oh, it's more than that. With an exciting new flavor. An exciting new flavor by Starbucks. It's not really a new flavor by Starbucks, but it's a seasonal coffee, apparently, that comes out in uh, late in, the, in January. And I'm not totally sure why, but it's seasonal and it's only around for a few months. Uh, and I'm excited to have my first sip. My hope is that wherever you are, uh, whatever you're doing, you're excited. You got a hot cup of coffee in front of you and you're excited to have your uh, first sip as well. Um, cheers to us. Uh, <laughs> it's the coconut mocha <laughs> my Starbucks. It comes in a little tan bag. I was at the store yesterday picking up hamburger buns, but that's for another story. Uh, and uh, as I like to do, I kind of strolled by the coffee aisle, took a glance down. As you know, I'm a value shopper. So I glanced down the aisle, kind of perused down the aisle, hoping to find some clearance sale or some good brand or good flavor that's, <laughs> I don't know, maybe Starbucks is going out of business and they're selling all their inventory at discounted prices. But alas, that did not happen yesterday. But what did happen as I rounded the curb to the end cap is the coconut mocha was uh, lining the end cap and it was filled with these tan bags. And I remembered a year ago, my wife saying it's her very favorite flavor. And I wasn't totally sure. We tried to FaceTime, I was with my stepdaughter, we tried to FaceTime my wife from the store. I'm sure this is very interesting. The intricate details of my grocery shopping experience have you on the edge of your seat. But we tried to FaceTime her. She did not answer. And I figured, what the heck? It's coffee. How bad can it be even if it's not her dream flavor? So we decided to pick up a bag of the coconut mocha. And I'm going to have another sip right now. Oh. Oh, it's good. I think it's particularly strong this morning because as I have a habit to do, the coffee pot is still brewing in there. They should make coffee brew quicker. <laughs> I don't know what the heck. Maybe you and I, whoever you is and I, can work on an invention and we'll call it Ken's Quick Brewing Coffee Pot or something like that. <laughs> Where instead of the, I don't know, 10 minutes it takes for the water to percolate through the coffee grounds. We'll have it do it in like 30 seconds <laughs> because I have a tendency um, to not wait and to get that first cup. And it tends to be a little stronger, which kind of throws off the whole pot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that's, that's for me and 10 minutes to worry about. Me right now has a nice strong cup of coffee. Anyway, it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> um, it's minus 8 degrees right now. I just took Holly out to go potty. It's pretty cold to be out. Uh, you know, 
on a dog walk or uh, again my stepdaughter went to a friend's house last night that's right around the corner and you know teens these days don't dress very smart they don't bundle up if they don't have to and, but it's pretty darn cold and even when I'm taking Holly on a walk around the block it can be kind of unpleasant and poor little Holly doesn't seem very comfortable with it either and uh so as soon as she does her business, we scurry back in. And uh, again, we got the sun rising uh, from the trees and Holly kicking me. And you can see her licking me in the side of the camera. If I don't give her attention, uh, I get in lots of trouble. I feel I'm in trouble a lot at my house. As I was waking this morning, I thought I heard the sound of two babies crying in the room next door. I wasn't totally sure it was that, but I laid there kind of feeling afraid that it was that because my morning is so wonderful if the babies sleep in. And it's wonderful in a very different way uh, when they don't. And I have them running around screaming, <laughs> yelling at me, needing me to make whatever issues they have go away. And again, I get that a lot at this house. My wife has issues that I need to make go away. My dog has issues that I always need to make go away. My stepdaughter comes to me with her issues. My youngest stepson comes to me with his issues. My oldest stepson doesn't come to me with his issues too often, but if he needs to, I'm there for him. And of course, uh, my babies are a constant presence <laughs> and constantly have issues that need Dad's attention. I talked about it before. Uh, maybe I should have been a therapist. Uh, I, should, I certainly have seen enough therapists. I feel I should know my way around the mind. And I'll bet you most therapists uh, have their own issues with their mental health and anxieties and curiosities. I think uh, if you're curious by nature, you probably have an active mind. And if you have an active mind, you probably have a tendency to uh, deal with some anxiety from time to time and uh, anxiety is kind of a constant issue for me and uh, I think it's good and healthy to recognize that and uh, uh, I don't know try and uh, create a, a, a smooth life as possible for myself and uh, those around me and uh, I was thinking about it as I was laying in bed I've gotten to the point over the last few years uh, where I was comfortable uh, dealing with my own stuff in my own way and the safety of, uh, uh, you know, living alone. But living with a family that all has different needs and wants and experiences uh, presents challenges, but again, challenges are opportunities to learn and work on ourselves and get better. And uh, uh, that is what I'm trying to look at it as a learning opportunity. <laughs> I'd recommend you look at your challenges as learning opportunities. It makes dealing with them a heck of a lot more fun. So let's have a little coffee. Again, it's Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had a wonderful night's sleep. Oh, I forgot to mention, kids are off school again because it's cold. They've had all four days in the last two weeks since Christmas break. Like they forgot that we have to have school open once in a while, but uh, maybe the weather will warm up tomorrow. So anyway, it's Tuesday morning. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you had a great night's sleep. I hope you're enjoying your coffee, whatever flavor it is. I hope the fire by over your shoulder, the proverbial fire by your over your shoulder is warm and blazing. And I uh, hope life is well. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.